Welcome to a GoToTraining tutorial on Audio Made Easy. This video will cover how to schedule GoToTraining event audio, including selecting audio options, setting audio preferences, and reviewing audio best practices. You can choose your GoToTraining audio by either logging into your organizer account directly from GoToTraining.com or by right-clicking on the orange icon in your system tray and selecting Schedule a Training. Both of these choices will take you to the Schedule a Training section of your account. You are able to select what audio you'd like to use when you create your training, and I'll also show you how you can set your default audio settings within your account. Start by selecting to Schedule a Training. Give the training a title, a description, a date and time, and choose whether it will be one session or a series of sessions. Select your training time zone and click Schedule. Once the basics for your training have been set up, you'll be taken to the Manage Training page. This is where you'll set up various details for your training, including your audio. This specific video will focus only on the audio portion. You will notice that by default, a United States toll-based number has been generated for this training. That is because this is the default setting on this organizer account. First I'll show you how to edit the audio for this event, and then I'll show you how to adjust your default audio settings on your account. Click on Edit on the right side of the audio pane, and we'll get started. Once you're on the Manage Audio page, you'll be able to adjust what is provided for this specific training. In this example, the default is to provide VoIP and a long distance toll number for the United States. Here you can choose to provide VoIP only, a long distance toll telephone number only, or you can opt to provide both. This way, every attendee may choose telephone or microphone and speakers based on their personal preference. This is recommended as a best practice as it gives a level of flexibility in choosing audio. In order to be able to use integrated toll-free numbers, you'll need to have a separate audio contract with Citrix in addition to your organizer license. Both toll numbers and toll-free numbers are adjusted in the same way. For example, if I wanted to add an Australian and a Canadian toll phone number, I would click on Edit and choose these two countries from the drop-down. You will also see that you have the option to provide your own conference call number. For this, click on the radio button here and enter your conference calling information in the blank field below. Save your changes when complete. This will take you back to the Manage Training page. You will see that your audio additions now appear for this training. Continue with setting up the details of your training and you'll be ready to go. Now let's take a look at how you can choose your default GoToTraining audio settings. Click on the Settings link on the left hand side of your screen. This will look identical to the audio settings for a specific training, except that this is where you set your default settings. These are the audio settings which will appear for all future trainings that you schedule unless you adjust them yourself. By clicking Edit, you can add toll and toll-free international countries, just as how we looked at setting these for individual trainings. For this example, I want my default audio to include VoIP, which allows all attendees to use their computer's microphone and speakers instead of calling in, and I also want to provide long-distance toll-free numbers for Canada and France. Once you've selected your long-distance toll-free numbers, click Done, and you'll be brought back to the page with your default audio settings. Here is how to manage audio in session. All attendees have an audio box in their control panel. It will contain the audio information based on how the organizer set up the training. In this example, the organizer has chosen to provide both telephone and the mic and speakers option. When using the telephone, all organizers and attendees will see the dial-in number, the access code, and an audio pin. The audio pin will be reviewed in a few moments. Attendees may switch over to the VoIP option at any time during the training. If you click on Settings, there's a built-in audio setup option where attendees may test their microphone and speaker setup. Click on Audio Setup to select a microphone device from the drop-down menu. Once sound is detected, the meter will light up green if it is connected properly. Verify the speakers by clicking Play Sound. Organizers can easily manage audio directly from the control panel. In the Attendee panel, they can view how each participant has joined the audio. For example, this attendee has joined via telephone, indicated by the green telephone icon. This attendee has joined via microphone and speakers, shown by the green microphone icon. If the attendee who dialed in by telephone has not entered their audio pin, the icon will appear gray. The audio pin connects telephone callers with the control panel. Without it, the organizer does not have the ability to individually mute and unmute the caller. In a go-to-training event, 
Each attendee caller enters muted. The function of the pin is to allow individual audio control. The organizer can right-click the attendee's name and push out the pin, or the attendee can locate it in the audio box on their control panel. At any time, organizers can mute and unmute any attendee with a green icon just by clicking on it. Organizers may also mute all or unmute all if there is background noise. This last section is dedicated to audio best practices. For anyone connecting using their mic and speakers, using a USB headset gives the best sound. A high-speed internet connection is also recommended, as well as a wired connection as opposed to Wi-Fi. Close any unused programs, such as email or music players, running in the background during the training because they could be unnecessarily using up valuable bandwidth. For those joining on the telephone, turn the handset volume all the way up so others may hear you clearly. Also, be sure to turn off other phones that could ring in the background. Lastly, store away any wireless devices, such as iPhones, because they can cause interference with the conference line as they send and receive data when too close to the line. Thank you for viewing this GoToTraining video on Audio Made Easy.